Some were destroyed in battle. Others weren't completed. Some are laid up and can only dream about battles. But now, they're getting a new lease of life. We recreate ships accurately, according to their historical blueprints, and send them into battle. World of Warships, Dry Dock. Cruiser Aegir is a variant of a fast German battlecruiser that was developed in Germany prior to World War II. By 1937, the German Navy was seriously lagging behind other European powers in terms of the number of heavy cruisers they had in their fleet. For this reason, the High Command of the German Navy made a decision to reinforce their fleet with ships built according to an entirely new project. The main characteristics of the O-Class battlecruiser included a long cruising range and main battery guns with a battleship-like caliber. Their 380mm main guns would have given them an edge in battle, and they should have been able to accelerate to a maximum speed of 34 knots. Their primary purpose would have been to force Britain and its allies to use capital ships to escort their convoys. This would have diminished the striking power of the Royal Navy and scattered its ships across the globe. The project was finalised by September 1939, but the ship was obviously unbalanced. The large calibre of her guns didn't make sense in combination with her weak armour. At the same time, German engineers designed and even manufactured a prototype of the 305mm SKC-39 gun. Arming the ship with guns of this calibre would have allowed the engineers to improve her armour protection. However, the O-Class battlecruisers were never laid down, and thus they never sailed the seven seas in real life. But that's not the end of their story. The project was picked up by World of Warships designers, and they developed a triple gun turret with the aforementioned 305mm SKC-39 guns, upgraded the cruiser with dual-purpose artillery, and reinforced her AA defences. As a result of their efforts, Cruiser Aegir appeared at Tier 9 in World of Warships. Unlike her historical prototype, she has good armour, nine 305mm guns in three turrets, two 533mm quadruple-tube torpedo launchers, and a decent dual-purpose secondary battery. 